I'm back. You're back. Thanks for being here. I'm J Lo. This is Highs with Lo. My channel where I go out and do stuff and tell you about it. And this is a continue. If you're here, thanks for being here. If you if you're a repeat here, thanks for being here from my previous video where I opened up a suit supply Lazio suit. It was gray. Fantastic looking suit. I'm doing a continuation now. This is a continuation of that because I did a thing. <laughs> I did a thing online, you see, and it went a little crazy and I got some suits. I have a little bit of a suit problem. I already have, I don't know, 10 suits or something silly like that. And I like it. It's nice wearing a suit. It makes you feel different about the world. People say they compliment it. They make you feel good. You feel good. You feel like money. If you feel like money, you are money, right? She was smiling at how money I was, um, what I did with it. So this is a continuation of that theme. These are suit supply suits, and I'm going to compare them uh, to, I have a J. Crew suit. I think I have two J. Crew suits. And I have one other from an online real, 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 an online, re online retailer so yeah, it's, that's called uh, Spear and McKay. And that's uh, gonna be coming up next after these videos. So Suit Supply is an Amsterdam-based or Dutch-based suit company that puts out a really nice product for what you get. Like they, their entry-level suits, their blue line suits as they call them, they run around you know, $3.99 or you can even get them a little less, like two something and they get pretty nice fabrics from Italian mills and they style them nice. The cuts are pretty nice and modern and they're half canvas, if you know what that means. It kind of gives them shape to the chest plate of the suit and it's lined with Bamberg. So it, they, they use some nice, nice quality touches to make their suits and they look nice. And if you get them tailored, you look like money. You really can make them look like they're a nicely uh, tailored suit for you. And the price is reasonable, so that's why I like them. I've been shopping there for a while. They did not compensate me for this. They did not ask me to do this, but I'm doing it just because I like them. And let's get on with this, shall we? Let's get this out of the way. I think that one has two suits in it. Let's get this one out of the way. I don't know which one, each one. They all came and I was like, Let's let's save it. Let's save it for the folks. See if people are interested in seeing this stuff. If you guys aren't interested, if nobody's interested in watching these things, then I will not continue doing it. But here we go. Do, do, do. The things we do when we have nothing to do. Well, I can't travel anyway, right? So. This is fun. This is fun. And I've seen other people put reviews of these suits on, so why not add to the, why not add to the knowledge base? Why not share? That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Go out and do stuff, and tell people about it. Consider subscribing, actually. I didn't mention that, but if you like this content, this kind of stuff, or traveling, I travel and I review bags. If that sounds interesting to you, consider subscribing. It'd be fantastic. I would love it. You're ready? You ready for this? <laughs> there you go. There you go. It's a little bit wrinkly, isn't it? What do they do to you? What do they do to you? It's alright, let's get this baggie out of here. So suit supply. They actually used to pack their stuff and send it to you in a nicer box. It was like dark blue and it said suit supply. And this one's a pretty plain, they've moved over just plain brown box there, it looks like. Mm -hmm. um, but that's okay, as long as their end product is still good, right? So they also used to pack them with um, paper in the, in the sleeves to keep it from wrinkling. They don't do that anymore. They do have some paper in here. Anyway, so let's get into this particular suit. It feels, Feels like linen. Let's see what this one is. This is their burgundy Havana patch wide label. So they have several cuts that they do. One is the Washington, which is super thin and has pads <clears throat> and has pretty big uh, lapels. They do their 
Lazio, which has lightly padded shoulders and it's a little bit trim. Um, and then they have this Havana cut, which has no padding in the shoulders and these patch pockets here. I have several, I have several Havana suits already. And I, I like the cut. It's a little more casual and I can actually wear the suit jacket as a sports coat if I want to, if I want to. So it, the, the Havana cut, let's see what their official party line is, what they say about their Havana cut here. I have it pulled up. The Havana cut is their soft shoulder and slim. The Havana's natural shoulders are typically regarded as one of those, one of the more versatile finishes, easily adaptable to both relaxed and more formal looks. Tailored to a slim fit, the Havana is the perfect choice for weekend or weekend, weekday or weekend styling. So it's kind of like I said, it's a, a slightly more uh, relaxed and less formal suit and cut. It's more for going out and having some fun. So I'm just looking at this one. These lapels look pretty big on this one. This is big. big. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna compare these untailored suits. I'll try them on over uh, with my backdrop there and get you a full view and I'll compare it. I'm gonna compare it to a tailored version that I already have. So we'll, we'll see how tailoring makes it look different and changes it. I can mostly fit this stuff off the rack. I'm 5'8", 150 pounds and my chest size all the way around is around 38 inches, maybe 39 if I had done uh, a little bit more chest work. And uh, the shoulders, which are probably the most important part, uh, my shoulders are pretty much spot on 17.2 uh, inches. And their measurements for these are 17.3, so I think it's pretty, pretty made for me, pretty made for my body type. I'm pretty thin though on the waist, so they call that from the chest to the waist, the change in size, the chest, the, the drop. So the drop is typically industry-wide, it's about six inches. So if you get a 36 size suit jacket, the pants are gonna be 30 inches waist. Does that make sense? So I still need those taken in typically. I, I go to like 29 uh, for my pants. So I usually have to get them tailored, so that's gonna be an issue. There's no tailor around right now, is there? I didn't even think about that when I bought this. There's no tailor that can fix this suit for me. Um, let's get into this one more specifically though. The mill here, I'll show you that. The mill is E. Thomas, which is, it's an Italian, uh, it's an Italian mill that I think they, they have a pretty good reputation for doing good stuff. Look at that, E. Thomas there. This is a fairly, it's fairly unlined, this suit. So there's no lining. Let me show you. I have another suit now. Let's show you. So this suit is not a Havana, it's a Lazio. But look at this lining. So this is the lining that they do, um, which is a nice Bemberg fabric. It's synthetic, but it still breathes, it's nice. It doesn't uh, get sticky or crackly like some polyesters or nylons would do. Nice. So that's, that's something about the Havana which is why I said it's a little more casual. It's, it's, see, it's completely online. So it'd be great for Havana. I left my heart. No, I can't, I'm not gonna sing, sorry. East Atlanta, nah, nah. So it's gonna be breathable and unstructured and just kind of casual, it's more casual. So you could, you could rock this in Havana or somewhere like Cartagena, somewhere tropical. Gotta look, gotta go look good for the uh, mujeres. This one is patch pockets, meaning there's no flap over it. See this Lazio? Lazio has flap pockets. Nice. So I, I'm excited to have this actually. This is one of those suits that you wear and people are like, that's a nice suit. Wow, that's cool. Where'd you get that? Is that custom? Is that tailored? It's nice. I don't know how red looks on me though, we'll have to see, but pretty excited about it. Definitely different, definitely a fashion suit, not th something for the office, not something for something formal. You're not gonna wear this to like a funeral, for God's sake. But you could wear it to a wedding, a fun wedding. You're going to a cool, fun kid's wedding. Yeah, you could rock this at a wedding. People would like that. They would like that, you know, you're dancing on the floor. You can, you can keep your jacket on because it's nice and breathable because there's no lighting. Yeah. You would get the, the leg tapered maybe a little bit and, and have a pretty, um, pretty
pretty, uh, uh, is it soft break? You, the way you have the break when you have your uh, cuff showing. You could, you could show a little sock there and I think you'd be all right with this thing, with the Havana. This is, oh, I didn't tell you what it's made out of. Do it. Wool, silk, and linen. So it's wool for more structure and so it doesn't get as wrinkled. The silk just to make it a little lighter and nice. And then the linen to give you the texture. Look at the texture, look at that texture. Look at that texture there. Double vented in the back. See that? Two vents right here, which is nice. It's, it's, it's an acceptable style. But I like it better than the single vent. I just I can't get over it, the feel. It's really nice and light and soft. It's really nice. Not scratchy. Not. It's got a great hand feel. Just great. Look at, look at this drape. Look at this nice hand feel and drape it's got to it. Anyway, I'm gonna throw this on. We'll see how it looks. And then, we'll, like I said, we'll compare it to uh, a Havana suit that I have gotten tailored, and we'll see how that stacks up. See ya. So, this is the Havana wide, put, wide lapel. 36S. Now this fabric is super smooth. This is nice. This is like, man, very soft. It's very smooth. The, the hand feels just great. Love it. Um, I hadn't noticed that this thing was wide lapel. That's, it's a little polarizing. It's not as, it's not as timeless or tra uh, traditional. So, you, it might be out of style, and, or maybe it already is out of style. I like it though. Look at these lapels. Look at these freaking lapels. And cool. Very wide. So you'll see when I do the side by side with my other Havana, it's not wide lapel, and hopefully you'll see that difference. So here we go. Do the front view here. Side view. Back view. Side view. Front view. Open up the jacket a little bit here. I, I can't get over this material. This is great. So this is the wool silk linen and that's what's making it so soft. Check it off here. See what it looks like with no jacket. So you notice these pants, 36 short, they fit pretty well off the rack. Yeah, I would get them hemmed. I think the jacket fits well. I was gonna point out though, you know, as much as I like the lapels and I love the color, it's puckering here in the shoulder. And I have other, I have other suit supply suits that don't pucker in the shoulder. And I don't know if it's a function of the fabric or if it's just the seamstress or whoever was, whatever machine or person was sewing this thing together, having a bad day, it's puckering. Look at that, look at the shoulder puckering. Right up there. I don't, I don't like that. Other suits, they don't do it here. I happen to have this one. Sienna doesn't. There's no pucker there. Nice smooth. It's really pucker. Anyway, suit supply, Havana wide lapel. Love it, very stylish. Even if it might be in, not in style right now. The fabric feels amazing. Great fabric, great fabric. It's not gonna be super wrinkly like linen. Love it. Anyway. I'm JLo. This is Highs with Flow. This is my channel where I go out and do stuff, come back, and tell you about it. This is the the suit version of my show. If you like it, 
consider subscribing. I would love it if you, if you subscribe. It'd be great. I'll keep doing more of this. If you don't subscribe and you don't like it, then I won't do any more suit stuff. I used to say get out there and do stuff and come back and tell people about it too, but now we can't, so uh, watch videos, get ideas to do stuff, get ready, because eventually we're going to be able to get out there and do stuff again, and save up your ideas. Then go out and do stuff, and come back and tell people about it. For now, JLo out. <laughs>